1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 5, the Apostle Paul wrote, Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the heart. And then shall every man have praise of God. So what is Paul saying? He's saying, don't judge until we get to the judgment. When you're standing there watching your brother and your sister in Christ answering to the Lord for the things they've done in the flesh, then you can start making judgments. You know why? Because at that moment in time, everything's going to be brought to light. You're not just going to see the action. You're going to see the motivation. You're not just going to see the action. You're going to see the circumstances that brought about that action. How many times do we sit in judgment of others? How many times do we cr criticize and condemn others because what we see and what we see may not even be one-tenth of the story. Mm -hmm. We didn't see what brought this about. Oh, we sit in judgment of that mother who cracks, as it were, psychologically and emotionally and takes a gun and shoots her own children. We sit in judgment. We start condemning her. And we start saying all kinds of evil things about her. But only God knows what demons that mother was fighting. Only God knows what kind of confusion and what kind of darkness had encompassed her mind and her thoughts. Do you know what I'm telling you today? Oh, we need to be careful about how we judge others because one day Jesus is going to look like you and he's going to look at you and I and he's going to say, okay, now it's judgment time. Why don't I look at things the way you always looked at things? Why don't I look at your life the way you always looked at everybody else's life? Because God knows that in the flesh we always cut ourselves a whole lot more slack. And we always give ourselves a whole lot more room for failure and flop than we do others. And I tell them the truth, mm -hmm. folks. Mm -hmm.